YouTube, it's Thilo, and today's video is a two-part video um, of some DIY candle holders that I made. So let me tell you a little bit about them. Um, I saw these candle holders at Z Gallery, and they are beautiful. I will uh, put a picture in the clip. Um, they're mirrored, and they, they have like a higher one and a lower one. And I want to say that the smaller one starts at is uh, 39 40 bucks, and then the larger one is 50 So I wasn't about to do that. And, of course, I did want the set because it looks good as a set. So um, I wasn't going to get them, so I decided to DIY them. Now, as much as I like the mirror, if I'm being realistic, I probably have enough mirrored decor, you know, items at the moment. So I didn't want to get mirrored candlesticks because for example, my lamps in my living room are mirrored lamps. So that'd be like too much. So I decided to DIY them. And so I wanted it to, I've been wanting to bring like more wood into my home. I'm really feeling that, that country style that's like all the rave right now. So, um, I decided to do them in a, um, like a wood finish they actually are wood and I kept the the shape and the lines of the DIY I mean of the Z gallery candlesticks um they also have another version that's like a mosaic finish and I want to say they have just that one size and I want to say it's like 50 bucks so it's just no way I'm gonna pay close to a hundred dollars for a set of candlesticks I'm just not gonna be able to do it so I DIY them and I made two different sets of them and if you're if you're looking in my background you already see what the end result looks like you know what I'm saying so <laughs> um, that's the finished product now I got a little notepad here cuz I just want to make sure I give you key information um, the Estimated total I spent for each one is about six dollars and fifty cents. Now I did have a lot of the materials already, like I have a drill. Um, I did have to buy the wood, um, and I had to buy some wood screws, and I had to buy wood stain. But pretty much everything else I already had. I mean, I end up using like painters tape and paint. And I used um, spray paint and so I already had all of that so of course I didn't include that in the price of the project but for materials that I bought for this in particular it was about 650 or less for each candlestick so that is a huge savings and if you want to recreate the look of the Z gallery candle holders for a much lower price and it's doable you guys um, then try this DIY um, it was fun it was a little daunting initially but I love the way they turned out um, I do have a favorite but I'll tell you that later if you stick around to the part two um, so yeah I think that's pretty much it you guys if you want to see how I came up with these candlesticks then just keep on watching all right so first let's talk about the wood you're gonna need you need two 12 inch one by two two 16 inch one by two 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 inch one by twos and two seven inch one by fours all right here i'm preparing to paint before i painted i did sand the wood a bit just because once they cut it at the hardware store there's like split ends a little bit and i just sanded that off so i didn't get any splinters um so yeah this is after i had already done that and i wiped the dust off that the sanding creates um i did paint a total of about three coats um, and so it did take a while because I had to kind of let them dry and flip them over so this took a little bit of time but I used uh, about three coats total and the paint I'm using is um, chalk paint by folk art it just so happened to be what I had on hand um, and then off to the right you'll see the uh, the stained wood base that I'm going to be using well after I got the wood painted white and I looked at them together I just didn't it didn't come together like I thought it would I mean I wanted a, a rustic country type of look but to me the wood base with the white sticks it just was too stark it was just too harsh on my eye 
So I had to switch it up. And good thing I bought two sets of the wood cuts because I ended up using a different base for this project. So you'll see that I'm kind of fondling with, you know, trying to get a feel for the look of it. And I, I just, it, it didn't work out for me. So I used a different base. Because I decided to go with a different base, then I had to rethink what I wanted to do with the top or, you know, the white candlesticks. Um, so what I came up with was painting the bottom section of the candlesticks a different color. Um, so here I am just measuring off, you know, the section I'm going to be uh, painting. And so for the larger candlestick, I measured off at four inches. And for the uh, smaller ones, the 12 inch sticks, I measured off at three inches. So like the bottom quarter of each um, candlestick is what I taped off at so that I could paint that bottom section. I decided to use this Rust-Oleum um, spray paint. It's the two times ultra cover uh, spray paint in bright metallic gold. And what I noticed immediately after I started painting was that the spray paint did not adhere to the chalk paint. I could see it moving and running and it just, it didn't stick. Um, so you probably can see it a little bit in the shot that like, you can tell that it was the paint was heavier on one part of the, the stick versus the other because gravity was like pulling it down. So, yeah, so what I had to do was go over it several times with a light coat of the spray paint. And over time, it did stick. But in the future, you know, there's something I learned is that the spray paint or the metallic spray paint doesn't adhere well to chalk paint. So um, if you if you're going to go with this plan or this look, then for the bottom half of your, your candlesticks, don't paint that part with the, um, the chalk paint. Leave that bare or just go over it with a primer maybe and do not use that chalk paint because it, you'll have a hard time getting it to adhere well. So I had this marble contact paper left over from a previous project and good thing I kept it because it came in perfect for this project. So I just covered both of the raw bases um, with this paper and it turned out pretty good. All right, so let me explain what's going on on the table. I've already drilled a hole in the bottom of one of my Bath & Body Works three wick candles and I peeled off that rubber, um, that rubber seal that's on the inside of the lid. And so here I'm drilling a hole in the middle of the second lid because the, the lids from the three wick candles are going to serve as the actual candle holders for the candle holders I'm making. 
I hope that's not confusing, but as I put it together, you'll kind of see um, what I'm doing. And so I'm, I'm drilling holes here in the little white two inch um, one by twos because I'm gonna be screwing the lid from the candle holder into that base with the help of these, um, the bases from the wine glasses from Dollar Tree. So I hauled these in my last video and the sole purpose of me purchasing those was for this project. All right, and so now I'm pulling in another candle holder, guys. Just stay with me because I really didn't have anything to use while I was drilling the holes. This was all I could find around the house so that I can have a, a workspace, so to speak. Um, so I'm drilling holes in the lid, in the base of the, um, the wine glasses. And you do have to be really careful when you're doing that because it's plastic and it's fragile. So just take your time if you're going to use this in this project. I really couldn't think of anything else or find anything else, but I'm sure there are other materials you could use. But I just wanted to see if it would even work. So that's what I'm doing. So once I drilled a hole in the base of the wine glass, and I, I have the hole in the base of the metal lid, I am gluing them together and just making sure the holes line up because the screw is gonna go through there to connect that part to that two inch white piece with the screw hole in it. So here you can see I've already spray painted that part of the candle holder where I connected the, um, the bottom of the wine glass to the Bath & Body Works lid. So that's done. And now I am like measuring and marking off the base so that I can make sure that the uh, candlesticks I'm going to attach are even and lined up. So my base is 7 inches. Okay, now I know that these are 1 by 2 candlesticks I told you guys to get. But when you actually measure them, they're not quite one inch by two inch. Um, they're, they are actually like three quarters of an inch by one and a half inch. And I didn't know this until I actually measured them and did a little bit of research. So you guys look it up. But when you go to buy wood in the hardware store, like if you go to buy two by four, it's not actually two inches by four inches. I had no idea about this. So I thought I was being ripped off, to be honest. But... Um, I think that that's the original size before they actually like put it through the mill or something or make it into these perfectly cut pieces. So the excess comes off, which which makes it actually smaller when it's finished. Okay, so in terms of measuring, I have my seven inch base. I have my one and a half inch wide candlesticks. They're one and a half inches each. So that's a total of three inches. Then I have that two inch piece I had cut that is actually two inches that's gonna go in between the candlesticks at the top. So that two inches plus the three inches, which is a combination of the two candlesticks, is five inches. And then I want a one inch lip on either side of the, um, of the candlestick and that'll total my seven inches for my seven inch base, okay? So here I'm showing you the little outline that I drew and I put little dots in the center of where each candlestick will be because I'm going to drill a hole as you can see right there while I made, where I made the dot okay, on each side. And what I'm going to do with those holes is I'm going to drill a screw up from the bottom of the base up and then I'm going to screw the um, candlestick down onto it. So before I... Um, put the candlestick on, I do have to screw a hole, make a hole in the bottom of each candlestick as well so that I can screw, screw it down onto the base, you know, with as little difficulty as possible. So I know some of y'all are wondering, what is that little glass, that little square glass over towards the right bottom corner of the shot? Um, if you want to know what that's all about, make sure you check out part two of this video because I make a whole second set of candle holders and I use that as part of it. So make sure you click the link to check out part two of this video. So here 
I'm getting ready to attach the um, Bath and Body Works lid that I spray painted to that white uh, square that's going to serve as the top center of the candlestick. Um, so I'm drilling the screw down like halfway through it first and then I'm going to finish it off while, you know, while it's in that, that little white piece. Um, and when I did this, it did crack the plastic part of that, um, the, uh, the base of the, the glass that I got from Dollar Tree. It did crack it and you'll see it on a later shot. I couldn't get, get it in the shot this, on this, um, scene, but you'll see it on a later shot. Um, so I was kind of worried about the stability of the entire thing with that being said, but the glue that I used, it really is holding. Um, so, as, I mean, I am going to keep my eye out for a different piece, but as for right now, it's working just fine. But, you know, I don't know about the longevity of it if it's already cracked at this point. But the, And I did reinforce it with some glue. Uh, later on to just kind of help sustain it a little bit better but I don't know in terms of how long it's going to stay like that but for now it's holding up just fine but it will crack it cracked on both of them um, but it didn't fall apart so I'm just going to go with it Here I'm just lining up that center top piece with the two candlesticks, you know, on the side, on either side, just making sure they're all uh, well put together and centered because I'm going to take the drill and drill a hole completely through that first outside candlestick through, not completely through, but up into the second and middle piece. Okay, and I'm going to do that on either side. And you'll see how I do that. And then after the holes are drilled, I'm going to take a screw and put one on either side of the candlestick to hold the top all together. Here they are guys, my Z Gallery inspired candlesticks.